So should you follow Muhammad's example? I will not follow that example. Are you All saying Muslims sold sl Muhammad was a slave slaves. trader? Muhammad was a slave trader. He was. He denigrated him in law. I believe the law should be secular. He believes law should be secular. He believes law should be secular. No, 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 no. So now let me explain why. I don't want you to explain do you, why. Do you believe that we're equal in dignity? I believe that I would have, I believe, but because of my faith and because I follow God, I have to treat you in a dignified manner. Right, In thank a personal you. aspect, do you, but, but, I would not normally do that. That was a great answer to a different question. Okay. My question was, do you believe that we are equal in dignity? Yes. Do you believe your children are equal in dignity? Yes. Do you believe, therefore, that people, that laws based upon the fact of equal dignity, should treat people equally, i.e. they should be equal under the law. So you're talking about secular law or religious law? Well, I'm talking, talking about, about Sharia so, or are you talking about laws coming so, from so, the so, so I'm comparing laws that have been influenced by a Christian heritage mm -hmm. to laws that are influenced by Islamic heritage. And I am laws saying, and I'm saying that laws that are, slavery, laws, brought, I'm sorry, uh, sorry, Islam serfdom. brought slavery. Do you know that? Okay, you're going to tell me that Are you saying Muslims sold slaves? Muhammad was a slave slaves. trader. Muhammad was a slave trader. He was. Well, they, I, can you he tell sold, me where, where sold, is that written? No, I'm going to come, I'm gonna come and debate you later. I'm going to I'm gonna come and debate you later. Can I, can so, I call a friend? This is can like, we, can we pull up the hadith there? where Muhammad tr trades in slaves? 50-50? So, so well, I'm going to show okay. you where Muhammad is a slave trader. A slave trader? Yes. So let's talk about Would you condemn a slave trader? In these days, I would condemn a slave But you wouldn't condemn Muhammad? I will not condemn Muhammad. Is Muhammad an example to you today? Yes, he is. So should you follow Muhammad's example? I will not follow that example. You will not follow that example? I, I'm not a slave trader. And that's because you're a better man than Muhammad? No, no, you, no I'm you're not a, a better you man. You clearly Muhammad are. Muhammad speak upon him. He's my teacher. You clearly are. I'm, I'm going to debate you later. Yeah, there are slaves in the Bible. No. Look what Lot's daughter Right, so let's, let, let's look at Jesus. He's my example. Yeah. Okay. He lived at a time. He's a wonderful he, prophet. I exactly. Think did he own slaves? Did he know, no, he did not own slaves. No, he did not okay. own slaves. Now, who is better? One who owns a slave or one who doesn't own slaves? Did he condone slaves? Who is better? Who is better? One who owns slaves or one who does not own slaves? I look at them both the same. So you, I you Jesus, think... I look at Jesus and Muhammad on the same level. Did he okay. condone slaves? Now, I want to I show you that I'm not making it up Jesus about your prophet being a slave master. trader. Right? I am a slave to so, God. Jesus. So, Let's focus because these guys master. are just going to be interrupting right. continuously. Yeah, no, but I will come and debate you, both you of them you in a second. A right? in so, this, there so, came, so there came no, the a slave, slave and pledged allegiance to Allah's apostle. On migration, he did not know that he was a slave. Then there came his master and demanded him back, whereupon Allah's apostle said, Sell him to me. And he bought him for two black slaves. And he did not afterwards take allegiance from anyone until he had asked him whether he was a slave. So where, Muhammad was a slave where is, trader. Where is this in the Can we pull up the one where, he, where, where we sell in the Bible, women and children for weapons that, and, wait, wait, and products? In the Bible. So can we, we just put that? So, so hold on one second. Show me where, that's in hold the, on one second. Was that in the Quran? Right, right, you've come to speak no, no, as I, Connie. I asked you a question. What's yeah. that in the Quran? No, that was a hadith from Sahih al-Bukhari. Okay, thank you. So you want it from the Quran? Yeah. Do you not believe in the hadiths? I'm a Muslim. Do you believe in the hadiths? I believe in some of the hadiths. There's That's some. What about the Sahih hadiths? Some hadiths are. What about are Sahih valid? hadiths? I've not, not heard the term Sahih hadiths. Sahih means reliable, trustworthy. Do you believe in those? It depends on who who says that. What who, about Sahih al Bukhari? Be what about Bukhari? Yeah. Bukhari's no collection. Let's, let's, Do you let's, let's quote them. Go. Let's get yeah. to where you're Stop going. Wait, wait, what about that Muslim? What about Sahih Muslim and Sahih al Bukhari? I don't yeah. know what you're talking about, right. so I'm going to prove ignorance. Okay. So you have, that's you fine. Have, you're, 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 you're talking to me, yep. you have a predetermined outcome because you have a belief. Yeah. Bring it to me. Okay, I already know what I believe. I don't have a predetermined outcome. I know I believe in God. Okay. I believe in yep. the Prophet Muhammad, yep. peace be upon yep. him. And I believe, yep. I believe that your journey in Christianity is just as valid as my journey in Islam. Yep. What you said earlier, you talked about me being better than Muhammad. That's not true. No, it is. But no, it but, is objectively true you right that you now, are I'm better going than to Muhammad. Tell you right now, man, I mean, the man to your face Muhammad. is that it doesn't own a slave. Is is huh? that my but journey and my <laughs> my faith your is better is than yours family. because mine is not you predetermined. Yeah. yours is predetermined. I come no, here to you learn. You come here to yeah, preach to people and talk about how people are bad about how my prophet is bad. Your prophet was bad. He was objectively bad. I said. 
that it's your religion you is just as valid as mine. But you have said, you have said, you have said, you should, you should, yes, absolutely. You should, you should, yes, absolutely. That's fine, you're entitled to disagree. Wait, wait, You're entitled to disagree. You're entitled to disagree. Because you say that, and because you have that attitude and that opinion, you've lost all validity to me. I can't, I'm not going to have a discussion with you based on If you can't do what Mohammed permits you to do, then because your conscience is saying that it would be wrong to do so, and I think you're a, a person of good conscience. I'm not going to. No, no sir, sir. I, li I listen, I listen, I listen, I listen. I listen. So in terms of, in no, 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 I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to continue the conversation. I'm speaking to you about something. So the thing is, no, so now notice the rudeness and notice how, yes, you are, you're being rude right now because I'm talking to you. You're talking, you're talking, I'm talking, I'm talking to you. No, no, hold on one second. No, no, you hold on, you hold on. No, hold on one second. First of all, you're pointing at me. Secondly, you're Why are you trying to be intimidated? Secondly, why are you trying to be intimidated? Are you trying to be intimidated? No, I'm not. I'm not trying, you're trying to be intimidated. Don't, don't point at me. You're trying to be intimidated. I am not trying to be intimidated. I'm not trying to intimidate you. So, as I was saying, you said that I should go away from my Quran. You said you that my should. Quran is valid. And the reason okay. why you should throw it away is because your religion denigrates human beings. It denigrates your daughter compared to your son. It denigrates women according to men. It denigrates the slave according to the free. It denigrates the Arab to everybody else. It denigrates, it denigrates Christians to the Muslims. It denigrates the Jews to the Muslims. And it denigrates pagans compared to everyone else. These, there you go, you've just denigrated humanity. Thank you very much. So you denigrate them? No, I know you don't believe in it, but would you denigrate them in law? Yeah, there you go. So there you go. So he started the conversation. Right, so, so he, you would denigrate him. He's a Sikh. Would you denigrate him? Would you denigrate him in law? Answer the question. I'll come and debate you in a second. No, no, no. Would you denigrate him in law? He is someone that in your religion is considered a pagan. Would you denigrate him in law? I believe the law should be secular. He believes law should be secular. So he's choosing a Western Christian concept over an Islamic one. So he chucked his own Quran away. You just chucked your own Quran away. Ask them. Ask them. Do you believe the law should be secular? 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 No. There you go. So he throws away his own Quran because he says he believes that the law should be secular, and that isn't an Islamic concept. Let's do a quick census. Muslims, son, do you believe that law should be secular? I'm asking you. He's running away. Every Muslim, put your hand up if you think law should be secular. One Muslim. All the other Muslims do not. So you're the one that's thrown your Quran away. You've just thrown it away. Should laws be secular? Should be laws be secular? Wait, 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 yeah, wait. I, want, I want to answer. I want to answer. I can't tell Jesus in the Bible teaching, you cannot live by man made law, but only God law. Agreed. So, so what are you saying now? So, I must now I answer my question. Do you believe that law should be secular? What is secular according to you? Secular. <laughs> secular means that they are governed by a non religious authority. Are they made by man? Um, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I can't tell Jesus teacher, I just tell you. No, no. Answer my law. question no, to no. you. Oh, oh, do you yeah. believe that law should be secular? I can't yeah. Jesus teacher. Yeah, I'm asking you. Oh, you you can appeal to whatever. There you go. Yeah, you so he real. disagrees with you. Yeah, You've just appealed it for secular law, yeah. and your Muslim brothers no, no, won't no, back no, you no, up. No, 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 They're not backing you up. So you have just thrown your Quran under the bus, and that's why I'm saying you should chuck it away. Right. So let's I have say, a calm conversation. So what I say in my philosophy you don't believe is, yes. right to make love. is... He just said so. Yes. I'll finish what I'm saying. The law Allah of the land, the law from the government should be secular and yep. should everybody 
everybody equally. That's the law from the government. How I conduct myself amongst my brothers, yep. I practice Sharia. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. If yeah. you steal from me, we're going to have a problem. Yeah. You insult my wife, yeah. we're going to have a problem. Yeah. Okay? You come at me the wrong way, we're going to have a problem. You yeah. murder, you murder somebody in my family, yeah. we're going to have a problem. Yeah. The other law, the secular law, under, under Islam, as Muslims, we have to follow the law of the land. Yeah. Exactly. So you believe in man-made laws? Pardon me? You believe in man-made laws? Those are the laws of the land. I don't have to believe them. Yeah. See, you, again, you so, come so, with, you so come with see, a I'm asking you, you said you believe if laws you should be... You have come with what happened about raising your voice doesn't make it right? Why are we raising our voice? Because I'm trying to Calm get down. a point across yeah. and you're not... And you keep yeah. cutting me off. You've come, with a pre line, you've come with yeah. a predetermined outcome. You, you Do you know what my predetermined outcome, outcome is? is? I know that we're going towards it. What, what, what is it? I've seen you here before. What is it? You're a Christian man. What, what is the essence of my critique? Let's focus on the point. Can you even am, am do you even understand the focus of my critique? Your, your essence of your critique is anti-Islam. No. Yeah. yeah you yeah. told no. me. You, first of all, you told me my faith was not right. Correct. My journey, right. my journey was false. Yes. And that I should throw my Quran away. You should. Based on all three of those and he things. And came to you. Yeah. He came to you? Ba based on all three of those things, I don't have time. And frankly, I don't know about and what yet, you've and got yet, to and say. Yet you may. Oh, and there you go. And there you go. So, so, okay. so the, let me actually okay. tell you what my the essence of my critique what, is. What is the essence of your critique? Get okay. to your point. I, I'm trying to. Go ahead. But, you know, we got a lot of interrupters here. I'm here. So, the essence of my critique is, this is the reason why you should chuck your Quran away. Why, Bob? Because innately within your nature, you believe that you should treat people equal, with equal dignity. Yes, I should. I there will. There you go. And yeah. I will. Thank you. And you are a better man than Islam. Because no, in Sharia no. law, human beings are not treated with equal dignity in the law. A Christian is actually calculated to be worth less than a Muslim in, yeah. in blood money. Yeah. In blood money. Yeah. Yeah. Blood money. God, is that true? Am I lying about your religion in there? I'm talking, talking about blood money. Wait, wait. I'm talking about wait, wait. blood money. The payment is for in, unlawful is killing. Is that in the I'm literally no, telling you. I'm literally telling you. I'm literally telling you that that the idea of compensation for when someone is killed accidentally and unlawfully, the laws apply differently for Christians and Muslims. Okay. And it should. There you go. It, and it should. There you go. It should. Now you don't I agree with him. Same thing the Bible. Same you the Bible. don't agree with Same him. The Bible. He's committed you know, to the interests of Islam, but you, you are not. Have you am, and that is why you are a better well, man than your religion. So, can so, can so address, you address that. Point now. Please, state yeah. your point. I've got your point. Yeah, you've got my point. How would you like to reply to that? I don't. I don't. I don't give you any validity because of the three things that you said that insulted me. Yeah. We're better by the same. One should be slave to another. And you will be forever. What about the Quran? What is he saying? The Quran's opinion. What about what about scholars from Azhar University? I just told you that I don't care about what you're I'm saying. Equal you treatment. saying it. What about Azhar University? What about, about himself? About so, himself. I'm going to show you a quote from a Muslim about scholar about that because demonstrates because the kind of inequality that I'm talking about. I'm not interested. But well, I'm going to read it. Well, you read it. Yeah, I'm going to read it. Yeah, I'm going to read it. And I think it's really sad that your emotions are prickled to cloud your intellect. It's really sad. It's a quote. Discussion and yet here you are. And yet here you are. So, let, let me just show you. In Islam, the Jews, the Christians, they live side by side. And they live, but they have their own law. They're people. They're not his children. They're not his children. Can you ask my question? Whose temple is that? It doesn't matter. Is that Jesus' temple? Is that Jesus' temple? Is that Jesus' temple? Okay. So, so this is an example from Sahih al Bukhari about slaves. Okay. Just another example of your slave trading prophet. Yeah, no, you're one. better than. I'm going to ask you again. Yeah. Yeah. Point at me. I, I really, man to man. Yeah. I'm going to say it one last yeah. time. Yeah. Please do not point at me when you speak to me. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Okay? So, Thank so you. in terms, sure in terms, that. in terms of, in terms of Sahih al-Bukhari. Listen to what he says. Narrated by Abu Sa'id al-Kudri, that while he was sitting with Allah's apostle, he said, "Oh, Allah's apostle, we get female captives as our share of booty." Uh, are you suddenly a Quranist? Of course, you're not a Quranist. You say that for the camera, but you believe in these hadiths when the camera's not on you. And then when the camera's on you, suddenly, oh well, it's the hadiths, it's not the Quran. So listen, listen. Oh, open to interpretation. These are Sahih hadiths, my friend. Yeah, Sahih al-Bukhari by Al-Qudri. 
Al as a fossil, we get female captives as our share of beauty, and we are interested in their prices. What is your opinion about coitus interruptus? Now you're an intellect intelligent man. You know what coitus interruptus is. Thank you. It's not actually, but but it sounds like rape. Coitus yeah. interruptus means to withdraw before the point of ejaculation. Okay. That's what coitus interruptus means. Yeah? The Prophet said, do you really do that? It is better for you not to do it. No soul which Allah has destined to exist, but will surely come into existence. Now, do you agree what are you reading from? with sex I slavery? Paper, right. No, you got a paper right. right. No. So, Muhammad practiced sex slavery. Did that say you raped the slaves? Um, do you believe in sex slavery? I do not, absolutely do Right, not. so no, Muhammad... Ask any, any Muslim here no. if they believe in sex do you know, slavery. Do you believe in... Do you believe in... So, you're, what is your, so, so your end game is you to destroy what you're about Islam, isn't it? Yeah, so, that's what no, my, my end game is to promote Christianity. To promote, my end game is to promote Christianity. No, well, I'm not a Christian. What just is about slavery? I will not become a Christian. From the Bible, what just is about slavery? Right. So, you're wasting your time. That's what he's doing. So, so I, want to, I want to read to you a Muslim scholar. So, this is not a Christian this scholar. One, one side, not one someone side. with an yes, anti Islam yes, agenda. Yes, yes, yes. Right. This is an Islamic Ask scholar about Bible. from Al Hazar University. What is about slave? And what he says is this Dr. Abdul Latif Mushtahari of Azar University. Listen to what he says Islam does not prohibit slavery, but retains it for two reasons. The first is war, in which the the captive is either killed or enslaved, provided, provided that the war is not between Muslims, is not acceptable to enslave violators or the offenders if they are Muslims. Only non-Muslims may be enslaved or killed. The second reason is the sexual propagation of slaves. No, this is an Islamic scholar from Al Hazar University. So we've given you hadiths. Uh -huh. We've given you scholars. Look at it, look at it. Now let's give you yeah. Quran. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, let's give you uh, Quran. I, I, can you can you give someone a chance to speak? Yeah, I just yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll speak to him. I'll speak to him. Is that one way street? Go on. You won't shake his face. I'm done. I'm done speaking with you. Okay. You're Find another victim. You can walk away anytime. 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 My point to you is. Can you read this one? My point to you is, bro. My 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 point to you is, bro. My point to you is, bro, is that your religion teaches the denigration of humanity. Some human beings should be treated better than other people. What color God comes? Right? And our law, our law, influenced by Christianity, teaches equality under the law between men and women. It's a secular country. It, it was no, it was never a Christian country. It was a Christian society. All men are equal, but it's okay. Exactly, exactly, exactly. And and this was this was the contradiction. And within the American the, legal no, system. I will, I will, can you read this one? Can I will you read this acquiesce one? to you that you know Kawar, more can you read things this one? than I do. Yeah. I can you read this one? Yeah. Yeah. Can you read? I think you misunderstand my heart. I think I you misunderstand my heart. Are you entitled to do that? Of course. He's shy, he's shy, he's shy from his book. Look what he's saying, look what he's saying. When Muslims come here, they talk about the Quran. He's a coward, they can't read it. When Christians come here, they talk about how shitty Islam is. No, we don't talk about how shitty You don't know, watch our channel. We put up loads of videos about Christianity. I'll be doing it today. You don't talk about We do, we do. You see, that's a lie that Muslims tell themselves. I see it here. It's a lie Muslims tell themselves. I will be doing talks on Christianity today. I will be doing talks on Christianity today. Yes, here. Start. I will, I will. But first, got to deal with these guys. Can you deal with them? So my point is, is, my point is, bro, and, and and this is my final point because you want the end conversation to end, and yes, so I do. We, we shall we shall end it. Okay. Yeah. My final point to you is this: that if you believe that human beings should be treated in law with equal dignity because they are of equal dignity. You yes. should abandon Prophet Islam Muhammad because it does exactly the opposite. It does exactly the opposite. It does exactly the opposite. Your conscience is better than your prophet. Okay? But his book. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, uncle, I'd, I'd like to debate you on something.